Dr. J here wanting to share with you some information about blood sugar. Now, uh, this subject's a little touchy because we in America, we like to eat what we like to eat and we were raised a certain way, which I was also, and I learned all the bad ways to eat, so I constantly am learning on this. But uh, let me share with you one of the things about uh, one of our favorite foods is starches and sugars. Now. When you take in a starchy food or a food that has too much sugar in it, there's so much sugar in an actual starchy food, and when I say starchy foods, I'm talking bread, rice, pasta, beans like baked beans, cereals and grains, and things like this. Like a potato, for example. A lovely baked potato. When you, if you took all the inside of the potato out, all the starch out, set it on the side, then you filled up the skin of the potato with pure table sugar. That amount of sugar that now fills up that whole potato is less than the starch that you just scooped out. That's how much sugar is in a potato, starchy foods. And you would never sit there and eat, I don't know how much sugar that is, but it's a bunch. You'd never sit there and eat that much sugar all in one setting, but you do in the form of starchy foods. Now, when you take in these starchy foods, you can't have that high of blood sugar. And what your body does, it has to produce... Um, uh, insulin, pardon me, it has to produce insulin to convert and store the sugar, first as glycogen in our muscles and liver, and secondly it converts via the liver sugar into triglycerides, and triglycerides are fat. Now, your liver is not a fat storage hormone or organ, so what your body does is it wraps that triglyceride in a LDL, a cholesterol molecule, and what it does, it helps to transport out of your liver and store it on your butt and your belly. So. <laughs> Literally eating two starchy foods. If you're not an Ala uh, you know, a Navy SEAL or an Olympic swimmer, you're not doing enough aerobically and metabolically to burn that much sugar at once. So your body, when you take in the sugar, it has to convert it to triglycerides. It does that in the liver, and it has to uh, take it out of the liver via LDL and store it typically on your butt and your belly and everywhere else to even things out. So if you have problems with weight loss. Okay, it's because you're eating too many starches and sugars, and the starches are keeping your insulin levels high. Insulin is a fat storage hormone, period. And what it does, it stores things. Insulin trumps what's called glucagon. They're both produced by the pancreas. Glucagon is our fat releasing hormone that allows our body to burn our own fat stores. And insulin trumps glucagon. As long as your insulin levels are high, glucagon is not functional. And when it's not functional, you can't release your own fat stores. Now, the problem is when you eat starchy foods, starchy foods cause the munchies. Because your insulin levels are high, you just stored all your sugar as fat, and now your blood sugar dips too low. When your blood sugar dips too low, you get the munchies. And so you get the munchies, you reach for something for some type of carbohydrates, typically something starchy, and it brings your blood sugar levels up. And as it does that, it goes too high, produces insulin, shoves it down, stores this triglycerides. It's just this vicious yo-yo cycle over and over again. And that's where we get type 2 diabetes is because our pancreas poops out in producing the insulin responses. When there's too much insulin floating around, our cells downregulate the receptor sites that are on the cells that tell the cell to store the sugar. And they become resistant and resistant and resistant, and your body has to produce more and more and more insulin over time. And eventually, the system poops out, and you become a type 2 diabetic. So we literally become type 2 diabetics because of improper nutrition and we eat too many starches and sugar in our American diet. So that's the secret there to weight loss. It's also the secret to stabilizing blood sugar. It's also one of the secrets to cardiovascular problems because high insulin levels are damaging to the arteries. High insulin levels are one of the main causes of high blood pressure. So literally doing what we call a phase two diet, which I'm going to put here on the website, is just guess what? Eating meats and veggies, veggies and limited fruits. Um, you just have to lay off the uh, starches, it's that simple, because there's too much sugar. Your body has no choice but to store it as a, a triglyceride. And what does that? Insulin levels are up. Insulin causes almost every known disease you can think of to be a problem. Also, too high of sugar levels. When we produce too much fat and we have too much triglycerides, too much fat in our body, our, they literally are starting to classify our own fat as its own endocrine gland. Because fat only produces, it produces hormones, but they're the bad ones. They're the ones that cause hormone problems. They're the ones that cause what's called estrogen dominance. There's the ones that causes inflammatory uh, chemicals and the ones that are pro-cancer, 
Okay, so to break the cycle, it's not fair, it's not fun, but genetically speaking, we are wired to eat meat and veggies. And I am right there with you. I love bread, I love potatoes, I love starchy food, but it depends on what your goals are. If you want to lose weight, and you want to be healthier and balance out your blood sugar and balance out your triglycerides and cholesterol, you have to lay off the starchy foods. Now, the other thing about this, people that have high cholesterol problems, it's not a disease. It is simply because we eat too many starches. It is a fact of physiology. If you lay off of starches for one week, I'm talking no bread, no rice, no pasta, no potatoes, no cereals or grains, your, when you don't take in that sugar, your body doesn't have to store it as a triglyceride. Okay, so you're not storing it as triglycerides. When you're not storing it as a triglyceride, your body doesn't have to package it and transport it out of the liver. So your triglyceride levels go down to 80, and your HDL or your LDL levels go down to where they're supposed to be. Okay, so literally take my one week challenge. If you have high triglycerides and high LDLs, and your cholesterol is off, just don't eat starches for one week. Go get your blood tested. You will be amazed. There's not a drug on the planet or a nutrient on the planet that can do it to balance things down where they're supposed to be that quick and that fast. Just by laying off of starchy food, your body down-regulates triglycerides and down-regulates LDLs. It's that simple. It's not a mystery anymore. So let me rehash here with the starchy foods. They're too high in sugar. Sugar, you can't have high blood sugar levels because that's the problem with diabetics. It causes all kinds of problems there, neuropathies and cardiovascular problems, etc., etc. So your body has to produce insulin. It takes insulin as a storage hormone, a fat storage hormones, converts it via the liver into a triglyceride. Triglyceride is fat. That's what fat is. A triglyceride is belly fat and butt fat and everywhere else fat. So it then has, it can't store it in the liver, so it has to transport it on LDL out of the liver, this triglyceride LDL complex coming out of the liver, and uh, that's another story I'll get to there, the problems with the LDLs, and they're right as far as that being a, a cardiovascular problem and a cardiovascular marker, but uh, we'll get, that's another, another story, um, but then it uh, stores it on our belly and our butt and everywhere else, and that's why we're fat, and as long as insulin levels are high, you can't release what's called glucagon, glucagon is our fat releasing hormone, so, and it's also, um, it causes the munchies. The insulin causes the munchies. So that's how you stabilize blood sugar is just lay off the starches and eat every two hours a small protein, fat, and uh, vegetable snack, not a starchy snack. Um, and that's um, how you stabilize blood sugar. And it literally is one of these secrets to getting your health turned around because there's not a pill they can give you or a nutrient I can give you that can stabilize blood sugar other than what you put in your mouth. There's things we can do to assist it like a, a, a Cataplex GTF we have, which is a chromium based for the uh, the pancreas producing insulin, and also insulin at, at the receptor site is zinc dependent. So we give people chromium and zinc liver chelate to help them the the system come back online better. But as long as you're taking in too many starchy foods, it's no chance. You're just going to keep getting fatter and fatter and fatter, and marching down the road to heart disease, degenerative processes, uh, diabetes, um, and everything else in the middle. So I hope this made sense. Um, email me your questions at drjnutrition at gmail.com. It really is too simple. Too high of starchy foods have to be stored as triglycerides. The triglycerides are stored on an LDL or packaged on an LDL and stored on our body. Uh, insulin is the cause of almost, it's a link to most of the problems that we have in our society today just because we eat too many starchy foods. So I hope this made sense. Uh, thank you for your time.